Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. Don't forget, if you like the video, click on like and subscribe and talk about it on chat lines, wherever it is your social media activities and help us to grow and help more people. I'll talk to you soon. Arjun says, how can I find happiness? What do you mean, how can you find? Look in your drawers. My goodness, look into your, I don't know, drawers or maybe your handbag. Uh, if you don't, you don't have a handbag, Arjun, you're, you're mad, are you? So <laughs> you, you may have a briefcase. Yeah, look there, or in your car. Maybe you left it in your car. What do you mean, where I look for, uh, where can I find happiness? The closest place to you, where is it? From your accomplishment in life, the things that you want to do in this life, what you're all about, the things you're going to fix in yourself. That's where happiness is. The things that you want to accomplish and you take steps to accomplish them. That's where happiness is. Happiness is independent of anything else out there. Other than, you know, the reasonable health that we all expect for ourselves and our families. That's beside the point. But in the rest of it, it shouldn't be dependent on things that they have their own brain or they have their own choices. And it's other people that you're never in control of your happiness. So happiness is about being becoming and training yourself to become a sailor a captain that can actually keep the balance of the boat in spite of the waves and the tsunamis and so on and so forth so because you can't stop the happenings of life you can't stop the storms and tsunamis and rains and wind and all that and you can't stop the waves of the ocean but what you can do you can't control any of those, but we, what you can do to become a good captain, that you can keep the balance of your boat. So same thing. Things happen in life that makes you uh, sway this way, that way, or somebody else takes something away from you or gives something to you. So you're dependent on them to be happy or then become unhappy. Instead, because you can't control that, you turn yourself in someone who can actually find happiness within himself or herself. Therefore, no other outside agent can affect it. And therefore, you at least have that going for you, regardless of what other disaster may hit you in life. And he says, where can I find happiness in everything? Like I find happiness in sex. Uh, well, you know, everybody finds happiness in sex, but that's no big deal. It's a no-brainer. That's not finding happiness. That's pleasure. You know, there's a difference between happiness and pleasure and joy. So how can I live and enjoy the moment happening now? That's exactly what you just said. Be in the moment. Don't focus on what's gone, what's in the past, because you cannot make any changes to it, make it better or worse or correct it or whatever. But you have to focus on the fact that the past that you're trying to correct or deal with whatever happened doesn't even exist anymore if it doesn't exist it doesn't matter so you don't go fix a bicycle that you don't have so you don't go into the memory try to fix things that in the memory everything that you're there trying to fix doesn't even exist anymore it's all dead so no worries nothing in there can bother you and you need not make anything fixed in there because nothing exists so stay on the moment be one with your efforts what you're doing in life what you're trying to accomplish in life what you're trying to learn in life, what you're trying to advance and modify and better in yourself, in your persona, your qualities. That's where happiness is. That's how you live. Focus on the efforts that you make in the moment, not about the past. It doesn't exist. Not about the future. There is no future waiting for you. When it's future, it's the now. So there's always present. There's nothing other than the present. So you're trying to plan for something that hasn't happened and you worry about it, create anxiety, and you go into your memories trying to figure out, oh, when it happens, I'll do this, I'll do that. Then you come back here and you see, oh, that future that I'm worried about, it's not even here, let alone what I'm worried about happening in it. So all the remedies that you found while you're daydreaming about what if that something happens in the future, this is what I'll do, you can't apply because it's the present. The future is not, that problem is not here anymore or at all or yet. So therefore, you kind of wonder, oh, why is it that I don't get the results of what I conjured up in my mind when I was sitting and thinking about what I'm going to do in such anxiety, such fear, such possibilities of danger that might happen that I'm worried about it right now, what I'm going to do, be doing about it. And then you come back here, you realize it's not here. So you can't apply the remedies that you've chosen. And then we can't, you can't apply, therefore, you can't get any feedback. You can't see that it's working or not. You can't see that it's working or not. You get frustrated. And then you kind of feel anxious because you can't apply the remedy that you come up with. 
And that's the problem. And that's why you don't ever want to go in trying to handle something that hasn't even happened yet, which is anxiety, fear. And you know, fear is always, uh, you know, when you compare something that was with something that it is and with something that it could be, what it was, what it is, and what it could be. You know, how it was, how it is, how it could be. When you compare this, you create time and you create fear and you create anxiety when none of that exists other than the present moment, which actually is very safe. Nothing is happening. At this very moment, this very small moment, before I know something happening about it is gone. The next moment is fresh again. So I'm pretty much safer in the present moment than going in the memory trying to fix things that I can never fix. So the anxiety brews or going into some kind of a futuristic imagination and trying to fix some problems that might happen in the future. Like, the, I don't know, the neighbor saw me with, uh, I don't know, dating his sister or something, and then I'm in trouble. So what if people find out that then you figure out what am I going to do for something that hasn't even happened? Nobody's figured it out yet. So <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that stay in the present moment and uh, your problems will seem manageable if there is any.